Police arrested a suspect in the hit-and-run crash that injured a two-year-old girl in Newark. A driver hit Eno Itiro in front of her family's home in church. She has two broken ribs, but doctors expect her to be okay. Police arrested 26-year-old Romaine Errol Sr. Prosecutors charged him with operating a motor vehicle without a valid license and causing serious bodily injury. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson has the story. We just wanted to come to church this Mother's Day, and we're just trying to come to church. But instead, Jameson ended up by his daughter Eno's side in the hospital. She's just two years old. She's alive, and that's all I need. No. But it was a close call. Take a look at the surveillance video. A white pickup truck hit Eno and kept going. It was right around 9.30 this morning here at Brookdale and 18th Avenues in Newark. Right after, two more cars come down the street but amazingly do not hit the little girl. They stopped and called 911. The family lives right across the street from newborn Wesleyan Church. They love their children. They, they take good care of, uh, of the children. A great family. If you, if you meet them, you fall in love with them. Moments before Anno was hit, her mom, Elizabeth, was already inside the church with the couple's second child, a one-month-old little girl. Jameson was inside across the street at home. I think it was this lack of communication between me and her mom. She, when she, her mom told me to pick up her phone. She, her mom thought she was with me. I thought she was with her mom. And I think she, she ran down herself. Once Elizabeth found out her little girl had been hit, holding her infant, she rushed to Eno's side. That's Jameson in the blue T-shirt, also clearly upset. A short time later, police located that white pickup truck just up the block. Eno is recovering in the hospital with broken ribs. Jameson is trying to reassure Elizabeth on Mother's Day that everything will be okay. Just be relaxed. Everything's going to be fine. Now just last week, Elizabeth and Jameson were at this very same church for a celebration for the infant's naming ceremony. And now this, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.